Hey everybody. So I just got off work um, and I'm smiling mostly because I decided, fuck, I got time. I'm going to come to the river, but it's, it's honestly getting comical and I wanted to talk about it. Uh, this don't have shit to do with the property or nothing. Um, I drove into work this morning and gas was 439 at the gas station that is on my way. And when I made it back eight hours later, it was fucking 449. So me being as curious as I am, I went ahead and asked. I was like, did y'all get a truck today or something? I mean, what's what's the deal? What 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 makes it jump 10 cents in a day? And then, of course, I know it's not the clerk's fault or anything like that, but uh, it's just, I'm the type of person where the why is. If you can explain to me why, then I'll understand why. Um, but she just kind of joked around and goes, oh, well, nobody tells us anything. And, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, sometimes I come to work and I'm thinking I'm going to get gas for this price. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I started the conversation with, I know this has nothing to do with you. Like, did y'all get a truck? How, what initiated a 10 cent jump in an eight hour period? And I didn't, I didn't go there with her because I'm not trying to get in a fight with a fucking gas station attendant over something that is obviously not her fault. But man, something, something's fucked up here. And everybody's got to see it because I know I do. And uh, I don't know what the fuck we need to do about it, to be honest. I know what I'm going to do about it today is this. I... I'm down here at the river, and uh, luckily I got down here, and since it's a weekday, nobody's here, and I'm still in my work clothes, but I'm uh, real quick going to strip, strip down into my undies and hop in this cold some bitch. But it's something to think about, man. Talk to your gas station attendant. See if they'll give you a reason, because so far, I can't find one person that has any logical explanation for how it's a 10 cent jump in an eight hour period. It, I understand gas prices have gone up my entire life. It was 99 cents at one point. And I actually remember it was 99 cents September 11th, 2001. Everybody was freaking out about gas prices going up then. And I remember filling up all the cars and it was 99 cents a gallon. 10 cent jumps are unexplainable and just you know use your fucking cabeza and try to fucking make sense of all this because you can't you want to know my conspiracy theory and i hadn't read this it's what i really think for whatever reason i think they're trying to push us into a civil war it ain't nothing funny but everybody's already it sorts about everything as it is damn i forgot to grab his leash okay somebody pulls up Everybody's at sorts already about all sorts of different things, so why not throw a little gas on the fire? <laughs> no pun intended. And uh, raise the price on something we all need to use. I mean, the face I see when people pull up to the gas station these days, and you just see them pull up and they're just a fucking head drops because they're like, ugh. And I do the same thing. I'm like, dude, fucking what? So... I don't know. I hadn't done a video like this in a minute where I'm just speaking my opinion, but I really wish, I really wish we could all get on the fucking same page because this is, I ain't mad. I had a good day. I got a lot of work done, made good money, easy drive, and I'm about to hop my ass in the river. Um, but, you know, I'm not stupid and I don't think we're all stupid and we're being treated like we're stupid. Something's got to give somewhere, so pay attention. Talk to the people that work at the gas station you frequent. See if you can get some answers and let me fucking know, man, because this is some crazy... <sighs> there are crack dealers in this world that are more forgiving than a gas station is right now. Look at that happy rip dog. Anyway, I ain't stuck on the bullshit. It's just something that literally happened to me. I stopped at the same gas station this morning. It was 10 cents cheaper. Lady wouldn't even tell me whether or not they got a truck. 
because it makes sense if they paid 10 cents more that it would jump 10 cents but if they just up the price just because what's what what is going on is what i want to know that's it i just want to know what's going on so anywho i'm gonna end this here get in the river before somebody else has the same idea as me because i ain't got no swim trunk so i'm gonna have to strip on down y'all have a good day all right Oop, we got a booger oh shit <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you work in a dusty house all day anyways uh that was probably solid fiberglass i digress i got in the river and got my stuff done i'm gonna go check out a fishing spot i've been wondering about but to get back to the damn gas i mean i just want to go all the way through this objectively so everybody understands like i i have my own stance i own all my vehicles i'm not selling my dad's truck you know if that means i can only drive it five miles a year because gas is 70 dollars a gallon then i fucking will but i ain't selling it i've never financed a vehicle so if you think i'm gonna finance damn there's some botting flies out here if you think i'm gonna finance a fucking electric car it's like a trade-off absolutely fucking not um not to mention that that does nothing to save the environment it's just technology that's being pushed i don't think there's anything wrong with it if you're already if you commute a lot and you're already financing an expensive vehicle it's a very economical way to go as far as saving money if you're already paying for all that shit but i'm not and i don't plan to i don't want a brand new truck they don't, they, they're made like shit. They break down in 10 years. I've got a fucking 30 year old truck at my house that I trust every day. So, point being, I have a stance on this, but like electric cars, well, they're bad for the environment to make. What are you gonna do when it breaks down? Are they meant to be worked on? Not really, as far as I know. It's not like there's electric car mechanics out there. Once the motherfucker breaks down, what are they going to do? They're going to haul it to the fucking landfill. And that's going to put a bunch of battery acid. All sorts of chemicals that have never even been introduced into the dirt. Or it'll get dumped in the ocean. Regardless, it's not going to end well. All of that is... Just as you know, you're hearing about microplastics and all this. The whole fucking electric car is microplastic. So... That's my stance on that. Um, I, I don't knock anybody for driving one, but like, you're not going to make me drive one and tell me that it's better for the environment and I'm supposed to believe you? Absolutely fucking not. So, what's the, what's the next deal? Um, there's not too many more. Pretty well everybody's decided they're trying to push us into electric cars. Um... And I don't think that's wise. I don't even like horses, and I will buy a horse before I will finance a fucking electric car. That is absolute truth. I'll get me a job at the fucking state park that's 10 miles away from me. I'll keep a saddle on my horse, and I will ride that bitch over there before I pay. I tell you, my cutoff said about $7. 7 a gallon. Well, you just lost a good construction worker in the infrastructure of your whole city. Not that there aren't other ones that are going to be there. I'm not that cocky. I'm just saying. Like, I spend most of my days cleaning up shitty contractors' work. So, when you start fucking around with somebody who's helping you out, you better watch that water. Look at, look at what he's getting himself into. There's a pretty deep, <laughs> deep rapidy spot over there. I done got him, boy. You feeling adventurous? Let's watch this. But anyway, that's my point there. Is It's like... All that's doing is running me off from doing what I do for a living. And I'll, I'd rather have a simple drive or a simple job. I don't even fucking mortgage my property. Like, this whole... Oh, you're not going to do it, are you? This whole idea... Some somebody somewhere is pushing for something, and the way that the gas station clerk today acted, it, it, I, I believe her that they don't tell her anything. 
But what I wonder is why? I just, I can't help. That's, that's in my nature to go, why the fuck is it so much? Not, not even why is it so much? Why is it jumping so quickly? For no apparent reason. Why is it 10 cent jump? Answer me. Hell, in comments, wherever. Have you ever seen gas jump in this direction as quickly as it has in the increments that it has? We've watched gas double over a year's period. Not 10 cents at a time, though. There's a cent here, two cents here. You know, no big deal. Some crazy catastrophe happens. You might see a, a 20 cent jump one time. Not 10 cents every other day. And then no explanation. The fucking, as far as I know, I don't even watch the news. As far as I know, the news isn't even fucking talking about it. But anyways, I just, I, I felt like I needed to make a video on this today. Share my opinion. Make sure people, like, are at least thinking and not just going, well, this, like, I'm curious about the trucks. Is the price going up when you get a new truck? That makes sense to me. Then you can at least blame the fucking people selling it to the gas station. But if they're not even up in the... Who's fueling this? Who the fuck is fueling it? So just think. I ain't mad. I'm having a good fucking day. And there's a tree in the way of this. But there's a little point over there. that I've seen some geese land at. Like right on the other side of that tree, there's a gravel bar. And I seen some geese land there last time I was here. And I have not gotten the gumption to drive out here with my fishing poles and uh, get around this fucking sycamore tree and set up over there. But something's telling me that's a good spot. I got a feeling if I can get posted up right over here, I'm going to come home with some fish. But these days... I don't even got the energy to clean them. Like, I don't have poles with me, but even if I did, I wouldn't be fishing because I don't fish for sport. I fish for food. And if I was uh, to catch one, I'm not in the mood for fucking cleaning it. So to me, it's useless. Some people like that catch and release shit, and I don't judge you, but fuck. You could watch people catch fish on TV and get the same effect as far as I'm concerned. Other than being in nature, but you could also just go swimming. Anyways, I'm kind of rambling at this point. I think I've made my points on fucking this gas shit. I really hope some of you guys listen to me and really start to think and and figure out, like, there is some massive shit at work here. Um, I'm not trying to get conspiracy theorist on it, but like I said, my best guess, the real underlying thing here is what's something that everybody uses and everybody's already kind of pissed off. Whether you're left, whether you're right, whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're fucking gay, whether you're straight, whether you're, you know, there, there's so many lines drawn right now. And then let's make sure food's really expensive and let's make sure gas is expensive. Now, I will tell you, you can buy all the electric cars in the world. Guess what? Food will still be moved by diesel. They don't have electric vehicles worthy of it. Keep in mind, too, I'm a fucking construction worker. I can't go buy a Tesla and do my job. Granted, I use a, I use a fucking Cobalt right now. But I'm gearing my work around that and I have a truck. For the days that I need to bring ladders. For the days that I need to pick up material. I have a trailer. Do I drive it on the daily? Hell, I used to. I don't anymore. Once again, 92 F-150. Used to drive it to work every fucking day. At least 100 miles round trip a day. Always done me right. Never broke down. And the engine still hasn't even been rebuilt. The transmission has. Because they put plastic plugs in the top. And they were replaced with metal ones. That's a design flaw. I admit every car has them, but man, these new ones, you're lucky to get 10 years. That car was 25 years old. It was already an antique by the time it, the transmission gave out on me. And I was pushing it. I was, I was riding it hard. Um, 
Anyways, I I hope people that I know are thinking about this shit as much as I am. And I don't know what we're going to do about it, but thinking about it's the first step for sure. I mean, if we all just sit there and go, oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. And nobody puts any fucking thought into it. Nobody asks any questions. Nobody ever goes like, huh, I, w- I wonder if they even got a gas truck today. Because that was my thought. This morning it was 4.39. Eight hours later, it was 4.49. Why the fuck? How the fuck? Did anything change 10 cents in that sp- in that time? Look at this dog. He is... You know snakes are scared of you, don't you? You in snake territory over there, boy. All right. Anyways, I'm going to let this roll. That was about a 10-minute rant. and It ain't as much of a rant as I'm trying to get people to use their fucking head. I'm going to put the... There's two videos here. I'm going to put them together, and I'm going to end them on the same thing. Use your fucking cabeza. Think. Wonder. Ask questions. Give a fuck. Don't just go, oh, well, it's going to be... It is what it is. I mean, fuck, dude. I hate tax. Taxation... Income tax is bullshit. State tax is not. Income tax is bullshit. That's a whole nother video though. I love you guys. Y'all take it easy.